To be honest with you, I don't think I ever got a completed script to read. Oh, wow. You'll spend no. eternity in a real paradise, Greg. No. <laughs> what? And we will win. <laughs> this time, I have a superior force behind me. And now, welcome to the second feature. <laughs> and if you choose, gods. All right. Third second question. Did you have any idea this film would become such an iconic film? <clears throat> Never, ever did we dream, did we think. All we were was a, a, a group of people excited to be able to make a film together. We wanted to do the best we could with what little resources we had. We had a wonderful time doing it. It was a great learning experience for, for all of us who had never participated in the making of a feature film. It was wonderful for me because George Romero sort of took me under his wing at times and uh, taught me the certain ins and outs. In fact, he taught me how to load film stock in the film stock bag when you're out on location. And uh, if, if I were to do that again today, I bet you I'd remember how. Very nice. <laughs> So I read on IMDb that your character Barbara was originally supposed to survive the film. Why was it that the script changed? I have no idea, but I'm awfully glad it did because I don't think the film would have had quite the impact. I think everybody dying made this film so different than anything we had seen up to that point. Somehow good people survived, at least one or two of them but not in Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> but I didn't know Barbara was to survive until a convention where George Romero was joining us. We were all sitting up in front asking or uh, answering questions. George told the story about originally having Barbara survive, ending up with a, a tear coming out of the, her eye. I don't know why he changed it, but I'm sure glad he did. So how do you feel about the overall portrayal of women in horror films? Oh. <laughs> wow! I, uh, that's a toughie. Uh, I'd like to think that uh, sometimes women are very strong, and other times you have to think a bit about what's going on. I, I, that's a toughie. I, I really don't know how to answer that question. But uh, they sure scream a lot, don't yeah. they? <laughs> they? Somebody said, I think you're one of the original scream queens. But I keep saying, I don't think I ever really screamed <coughs> like the, the women scream in films today. I think I sort of yelled in anger. You don't take your clothes off either like the women no, today. No, so. thank <laughs> God. <laughs> So if you had a pick, would you rather have fast or slow zombies? Real zombies. Do not run. <laughs> <laughs> what are your survival tips for the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Do you know there is a book out there about survival? I couldn't believe it. Somebody sent it to me. I thought it was marvelous. Uh, make sure you have a gun with a lot of bullets and shoot them in the head. <laughs> Very nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and open up some questions to the audience. So feel free to raise your hand and ask Judith some questions. Oh, good. Did you realize the uh, social taboos that were being filmed in the movie at the time when it was being made? question was, did I realize the social taboos uh, that were in the film being made at that time? No. Had, it, had no idea. We really did not cast Ben or Dwayne Jones because he was a black man in order to fit into the 1968 uh, racial situation that we were in at the time. Dwayne was just the best actor who auditioned for the film. 
therefore, it, it wasn't a prime thought. I think it was more of an afterthought. And as time has gone on, we've given it more thought, those of us who were in the film, and realized that uh, unbeknownst to us, we were creating something that did have tremendous uh, undertone or overtone that, that we had no idea of when we were actually making the film. Thank you for that question. We have any others tucked away? Right there in the very back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering if George had ever approached you or you had ever approached George about maybe making a cameo in one of the dead sequels. You know, just to say, cause sometimes we'll have like Simon Pegg do a cameo in Land of the Dead or... And Tom Savini's always in George's film. <laughs> exactly. Had he ever approached you or do you approach him about maybe saying, hey, why don't we have her come back, or, you know, have Barbara come back and, you know, just be there in the back of one scene for no apparent reason? I have hoped beyond hope that George would slip me in <laughs> to a picture. When we do see each other, I sort of sidle up to him and say, George, I'm here, I'm available any time you want me in. <laughs> but then we start talking about something else and it never happens. <laughs> so maybe one day, I hope. Do you have any other questions out there? We're wrapping it up then. I want to thank you all so much for hanging in with us. I'm sorry we had trouble at the beginning. It's been a thrill for me to be here, and I so appreciate your supporting Night of the Living Dead as you have all these years. Thank you all very, very much. But we're not done, though. We got the whole, the whole award thing. Because at the International Horror and Sci-Fi Film Festival, we have a little thing called the International Horror and Sci-Fi Hall of Fame, which uh, previous inductees have included Toby Hooper, Mick Garris, uh, Jeffrey Combs, Linda Blair, over the year, Ken Foray, uh, Casper, Van Dien. Casper Van Dien. Last night we inducted Casper. And so uh, tonight, because of your, uh, your contribution to film and contribution to the world, <laughs> We'd like to uh, add you to that group. So we have uh, Judith O'Day, our new Hall of Fame member of the International <laughs> Board of Science. I usually always have a word or two to say, but I I'm, I'm really without words. I am so thrilled. Thank you all for this honor. And Judith, uh, you're going to be signing some autographs and doing some pictures and stuff. How, how's that working here, uh, Andrea? In the New Times Theater. Now, Judith has an exclusive with her tonight. Oh. It's a brand, I'll let her talk about it, but she only has four left because I bought one. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I could die tonight and be the happiest woman alive because I have my own action figure. <laughs> I have a few tucked away with me. Yes. So um, we'll be having everyone line up out in the hallway um, in the, for the New Times Theater for the signing. Yeah, two doors down. So One. Again, thank you, Judith. We're really, really excited to have you here. And thank you for your contribution to the genre and for making such a great film. We're really excited to have you in our Hall of Fame. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you all. Give it up, Judith. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Two doors down. Oh,